I certainly don't know if I have a clear context for how the Chinese are likely to respond. But I think, look, they're, uh, as Tony was referencing, they're long-term strategic thinkers. They're not burdened by midterms. Um, and they're going to probably certain, certainly try, uh, regardless of what, what happens with the Dems of the House in, in, in November, they're going to certainly try to extract every possible strategic advantage out of this over the broad term. They've here. still been buying our treasuries. We've seen that. So we know sure. that the Chinese haven't conducted that kind of a treasury trade war. Yeah. But the fact that the currency is weakening, whether or not they want it to or not, that to me is the economic bazooka. Because if the Chinese currency were to significantly devalue, that could rattle the world, could it not? Well, in August 2015, when they did the shock deval, the currency was devalued. Right now, the devaluation that has been happening over the last couple of weeks has been occurring. And one of the, I think, fascinating parts of this discussion is that, is that the Chinese currency is weakening right now, but global markets are not yeah. rattling. Back in 2015, they were rattled. And the, and, and the China metrics are really economic data and so forth. The macro data is really sort of holding together pretty well. In fact, some of it's been recently improving.